Hey, what's up? It's Boss with Boss Grows. I'm about to do a quick taste test on four delicious peppers that I grew indoors in my basement. I uh, started them around Christmas time or January time. And so now my plants are really starting to put off a bunch of pods and they're starting to ripen up. So I harvested some really interesting types. Um, one of my absolute favorites and one I haven't ever eaten before. So let's give this a shot. All right. We are going to do a quick taste test of four pods that were harvested out of my winter garden indoor hydroponic. We have from left to right a ring of fire, sugar rush peach, the teeniest, tiniest little lemon drop I ever saw, and a Chinese five color. Let's give these a taste. Right, we're actually going to start with the ring of fire and I am going to literally cut it open. Wow, I can't focus to save my life there. Um, try and give us a look at what we're dealing with here. Uh, this isn't going to be pretty one-handed. Good enough. Big part of the reason I'm doing this is because I want seeds. Um, you can see there is Pretty decent amount of seeds. Not the thickest walled pepper ever, um, but should be pretty on point for cayenne. I'm going to take those seeds out and we'll give it a taste. All right. I have taken seeds out so that I can try and save them, um, but I left the membrane fully intact. I left a lot of seeds in there too. Let's see how it tastes. Has a lot of <clears throat> oil. Kind of shot right back to the back of my mouth there. Very much a cayenne flavor. Crunchy. Pretty good kick. Right? I mean, it's not... <clears throat> it's not setting my mouth on fire, but my tongue definitely feels it. And not as much... Um, flavor, I guess, as I was hoping out of it. It's very much just... It's pepper and heat. It's almost like you get an initial kick of like a red bell pepper and then a pretty good kick of heat. So tasty. I will definitely be using these in sauce. It almost seems warmer, more spicy than a typical cayenne. Um, hope I get a lot of these this year because that's going to really help kind of make some great Louisiana style sauces. Almost no burn after that initial jolt of uh, juice that shot to the back of my mouth. Almost no burn on my throat. It's all kind of concentrated on the middle of my tongue. So, good pepper. Um, like I said, it's really going to be good for that traditional Louisiana style sauce, I think. So, let's move on to the next one. Up next is the Sugar Rush Peach. So, let's take a look inside this guy. This is one of my favorite peppers taste wise I think they're just delicious um, they've got a good heat to them but they have such a fruity sweet flavor as well this one is going to be interesting it came from a plant that um, well that I kind of killed by forgetting to water it so we'll take a look inside see e it doesn't look great does it got a few seeds that look okay and a few that just look gnarly um, unfriendly so we'll see how the pepper tastes i luckily have several plants going here um, so i'm not too worried about this but i'm going to pull those out because i do not want to eat those gross looking seeds um, they're just brown and dead looking right they're not moldy they're not gross they're just they look like dead seeds so uh, i will set the camera back up and we'll take a taste test all right sugar rush peach here we go
Mm. So I might have killed the plant. Luckily, I didn't kill it till it was full of pods that were starting to turn ripe. God, I did not kill the flavor, though. That is really good. So it's got kind of a... Hmm. Kind of a tangy... It's almost apple flavor. Very fruit-like. Decent little kick behind it. Ah, I, I gotta have more. Um... Not overwhelming heat. But enough that I feel it. Kind of a whole mouth burn. Um, but man, that flavor is just, it's really hard to beat. If you want a good fruity kind of um, refreshing pepper that is easy to snack on. Um, I'm interested to try these actually uh, grilled this year. I would love to put a bunch of them, you know, on with some... Uh, chicken breast or even maybe some pork chops I think would be great with the sugar rush peach, but that's a great pepper. Uh, highly encourage everybody to grow that. I have not grown the sugar rush red or whites before, but I just ordered seeds for those. So I'm going to grow them indoors uh, over the summer while my outdoor garden is going so that hopefully about the same time as the outdoor goes, I'll have some other types of sugar rush to try out, but very good pepper. Get some. All right, up next is this teeny tiny little lemon drop. These peppers are not supposed to be this small. I wouldn't have included this in the taste test, but uh, honestly, I saw this little ripe pepper on one of my lemon drop plants. And I thought, what the heck, let's give it a go. Um, it should be several times larger than this, but it looks pretty healthy. It's got, you know, a few seeds inside, not a ton. Um... Decently thick walls, but it's, well, I shouldn't even say that. They're pretty, they're pretty thin. Um, tiny little bit of membrane there. I'm not going to bother saving seeds for this. Um, we're just going to eat it. So let's do this. All right. World's smallest lemon drop. Here we go. It's got a real... Kind of tangy, um, not quite citrusy, but definitely fruity up front flavor. A little bit of kick. I think the bigger ones will have more of that membrane. They should be a lot spicier. Um, has the traditional lemon drop flavor though so it's ahi definitely it is um kind of tropical tasting a tiny little bit of that floral overtone um some people don't like in their peppers but i think it's actually kind of nice it's garden fresh if you will um it, it, it blends well with the heat i think these are going to be uh really good this year to make some sauce. I'm thinking now I might want to mix a lemon drop with maybe sugar rush peach to make some hot sauce at the end of this season. But definitely a great pepper. Um, it's another one of those that I think everybody should probably grow. Um, I call them lemon drop. They're also called ahi limon. Um, the ahi limo is, I believe, if not the exact same thing, very, very closely related. But good burn on the back of the tongue. Great flavor up front. Um, it's one of those peppers that I think would change a lot of people's minds about. I don't like hot peppers. You would if you ate these, right? So, good stuff. Let's move on to the last in the bunch. The Chinese five color. So, this little guy here is a Chinese five color pepper that has ripened. Um, these are an ornamental, but they are in fact edible. I have not eaten them before. I have grown them before. I think they're a beautiful plant, but I thought, what the heck, let's find out what they taste like. I've been told they don't have a lot of taste. They've got a lot of heat. So I really want to eat one to see, is this something I want to use in cooking? Is it something I want to save for spicing up hot sauces? And really, how does it compare on the heat range? Because 
I don't expect a lot from flavor. So here we go. I've got this open. Lots of seeds. I hope you can see that. Um, pretty thick membrane in the middle there. So I am expecting this to pack a little punch. Uh, I'm going to pull some of those seeds out because I don't want their bitterness to skew my taste test. And, well, like always, I'm going to save them. See if they germinate. If they do, I will uh, add them to my collection and send them out to some friends. Because Chinese Five Color, again, is one of my favorite plants. Um, they're just beautiful. If you haven't ever grown one, they call them this because, hmm, the fruits turn several colors and they ripen at different speeds. So... They start off kind of purple, they go to this kind of pale white, then to orange and red and yellow, well, yellow and red, um, and this is how they end up, so. I'm a little nervous because I've never eaten these before, and I don't know what to expect. Let's give it a shot. Very light. Peppery flavor, meaning like a, a bell pepper. A little bit of heat. Um, I was worried it was going to be like kick me in the teeth kind of heat, but it's not. It is a building warmth. It's not that like in your face, oh my God, I'm on fire kind of heat, but. I'm going to eat the other half just because that I didn't get enough inf information from that taste. It almost... Got more of the membrane there. That's hot. Um, it's almost got a sweetness that I wasn't expecting. Yeah, that's, that's spicy. Um, I'm going to take a sip of gin. It wasn't great tasting. But it did have a tiny little bit of a kind of a floral sweetness up front. That exhale hurts. That's hot. That's the hottest one I've eaten today. Um, I don't know how many more of those I'll eat, but I might save them for use in hot sauce to make that extra heat, right? Woo! I'm gonna take another drink and we'll wrap this up. All right. I got my nose running. I am a little bit surprised by the heat buildup from that Chinese five color. Well, I don't think the Scoville units are supposed to be as hot as, like, uh, even a habanero. That burned me a lot more than a normal orange habanero would hurt. Um, it is a very sharp burn. I think maybe that's the difference. Uh, habanero tends to be, like, a warmer spreading burn. That Chinese five color took a minute, but, man, did it set in. So overall, that was by far the hottest thing I ate today. Um, I think the Sugar Rush Peach was the tastiest thing I ate today. The Ring of Fire is going to go great in Louisiana-style hot sauce. Pair that with some vinegar, maybe a tiny little bit of carrot and some salt. Going to be awesome. I am super stoked to harvest the rest of the indoor garden. Um, I've probably got about a month before I really get a good harvest off of some of these plants, but when I do, I am excited. Those are some good peppers. I really encourage everybody to grow the Sugar Rush Peach and the Lemon Drop for sure. Um, if you've already grown cayenne or you want a cayenne that has a little bit more kick, uh, the Ring of Fire seems to be the one. Uh, they're pretty prolific plants too. I've grown some in mini hydro uh, that only get about that tall, but they still put off you know a dozen or so pods. Uh, but the bigger plants, when you put them outside or put them in a bigger container, they're quite prolific. They have a lot of pods going, so I'm excited. I'm going to be making a lot of hot sauce later this year. 
and I don't have to wait until my outdoor gardens are done because I have this wonderful indoor setup going. So really stoked. Those are some delicious peppers. Um, if you like this video, uh, I'm going to be doing a lot of taste testing this year as I harvest from my own plants, right? Uh, and I also make hot sauce videos. I do garden tours. Uh, really interested in seeing what people want to know. Um, I do some how-to videos, right? So kind of share some of my gardening tips and tricks, both for indoor hydroponics as well as outdoor gardening. Um, leave me a comment down below if there's something you'd like to see. If you want to see me taste a different type of pepper, uh, if you want to see how I'm going to make these hot sauces, let me know. Uh, please subscribe, leave a like, and I will be back soon. Peace. So y'all can watch this growing journey on my way to be a botanist I got this garden game on my kid You should spice it up and grow like bosses I grow that hotness So y'all can watch this growing journey on my way to be a botanist I got this garden game on my kid You should spice it up and grow like bosses